Hello and welcome to this course on Hortonworks Data Platform Administration. My name is Sijish and we are learning Hortonworks Hadoop Security. So this video I will walk you through the installation and configuration of Ranger, the tool which is used for authorization. So first log into the Ambari by using admin credential that is admin admin. So once you log in, so from the dashboard services, go ahead and select add service and then scroll down and select the ranger service you can see the ranger service here and scroll down again a bit and then go ahead and hit next button to continue and this part we have option to choose the host where we want to do the installation so ranger has got ranger admin and user sync component which are basically the master component i'm choosing master 3 as the server and then go ahead and hit next and here uh, we have options like uh, the slave components mainly the ranger taxing i'm choosing one uh, taxing that is also on master 2 go ahead and hit next to continue so here we have a uh, option to customize the services a lot of parameters and all we can do the customization here and uh, uh, in ranger in backend using a database any relational database you can see it's a like a mysql postgres oracle or any db so here i'm going to use mysql for that i'm going to install mysql server on one of the host and copy this url and i'm following this documentation to do mysql install server installation so first i need to install uh, switch to root user and install wget so wget is a command that we can use for downloading something from internet so let me uh, sorry uh, so to wget okay yeah i just copied uh, pasted that url and uh, that wget link and next i'm going to install that rpm so this rpm installation basically update our repository and you can see two repo files are added mysql community and the mysql community source and then go ahead and do yum update command so this command basically update all the packages available in our system okay and uh, in my case it's around 350 packages i need to do that update so it's a time consuming process and you have to wait until this entire uh, packages are get updated okay i think uh, it's almost near to the end and you can see 350 out of 350 so that's it uh, i have uh, completed yum update and next i can go ahead and install mysql server so i copied that command and pasting so sudo is not needed since i am already with the root user so that is installing the package and along with that some dependent packages are also downloaded and installed the next i can start my mysql service by using systemctl command you can use systemctl enable mysql d to enable the service you can do that also so that the next reboot the database service will be up and running so now um, before uh, connecting to mysql so let me uh, do some uh, security enhancement to my existing database so this allows me to set initial root password so in, in initial password is uh, uh, not set in my case i just type some password and anonymous users i am removing and uh, this is also select yes and uh, yes and yeah that's it so i have set uh, some initial data database password for root user and i'm using this command mysql iphone u root iphone p and uh, go ahead and type the password that we have set and i'm creating a user so ranger at percentage identified by so whatever the password we are going to use so in my case i used a simple password with the string password you can use uh, the password with the proper alphanumeric and uh, special characters etc 
and once the user is created i am going to create a database with the name ranger db so next is i need to grant all privileges on this ranger db database to this user so i'm just using grant all privileges on this database dot star to the username so ranger at a percentage so including that single code copy and paste okay so there is some uh, mismatch in privileges sorry it's a pri v i l e g s correct so this is the correct uh, syntax okay so basically i gave complete privileges on this db for that user ranger and let me connect with that user and uh, type the password that i use in my case it's a password and type show databases that list all the databases including the da the one which i created that is ranger db i can come out of this page and go back to uh, sorry and also i need to find out this connector jar so you can download this jar uh, from the mysql connector uh, location so since i have already downloaded and kept it in some locations i'm just using the find command to find that so i have that available on slash user uh, share java mysql connector jar and i'm using this ambari server setup jdbc mysql driver that driver location so that it update ambari uh, location and uh, copy this mysql jar to ambari location so this is one of the prerequisite uh, for uh, this part and here you can see uh, ranger db host on which host i have installed my mysql it's on master 2 and uh, db flavor is mysql so by default it's mysql and you can choose and what is the user password type here and uh, username and user database name okay so username is a ranger and database name is ranger db and uh, scroll down so you can choose this option as no because i already created this users and database in backend so and also here you have that link where you can download this jdbc driver that i used for ambari server setup okay so this is mysql uh, official link and scroll down and you can choose that connector jar option choose the operating system you have and from here so download the one which is matching with our operating system go ahead and download that so since i already did that and i have that file available under this location so once this is done i can go ahead and hit this test connection and make sure so the connectivity is okay so if you have some connectivity issue you have to wait and resolve that and under advanced option uh, it's asking for some uh, details like credentials like user sync user credential admin password etc so add the proper password here okay so tag sync user password user sync user password kms admin password so all these values we have to enter so once you enter that uh, and one more place is missing that is why yeah you can see that red a ranger admin user password here also add some password and type the same password again then save that's it so now if you see all the red uh, mark has gone and now we are good to go with the next and uh, yes uh, so there are some error message and that is again the password is not up to the standard and we should use some proper uh, strong password so let me uh, read this okay so all these password is, is very simple and uh, okay so i'm just going to change those passwords again to go back to this uh, configuration and uh, change the password and i use some strong password so rather than using very simple password okay choose that again then scroll down and somewhere we have i have set this admin password save that yeah so once that is done go ahead and hit next and uh, this is some warning i am okay then proceed anyway 
okay so this is the summary page and you can view that and then once it's okay go ahead and hit this deploy button so once you started pressing this deploy button then the installation process has started you can see the progress bar here and again it take time so in backend it has to do lot of yum install commands so that's it it's a uh, completed and go ahead and hit next to continue then complete and mark the installation as completed okay so once ranger is added you can see the lot of uh, circles okay a circular arrow for hdfs yarn hive hbase and kafka so what you have to do uh, these services needs to be restarted i am just doing the restart all these affected services so that the services will be restarted so once this is done we can open this ranger url from this link uh, but this is pointing to the private host name so i need to replace this private host name with the, the public ip address so for this host the public ip address is this one replace the master with that and go ahead and hit enter and choose the credentials that i already used in a configuration setting and here you can see the page looks like this okay so that's it this concludes the installation and uh, basic configuration of apache ranger in next video i will explain how to configure it to do hdfs and hive and other permissions hope you enjoyed let me know if you have any questions thank you